Jenny Samuelson here with Osteopro Fitness. And in this video, we're gonna talk about what movements to avoid in order to better protect your spine from spinal fractures, and how to modify some of your daily activities in order to avoid these movements so that your spine is safe. These two movements are spinal flexion, which is bending forward with a rounded back, and spinal rotation, which is twisting. These two movements put your spine at greater risk for compression fractures. So now I'm gonna go over some common daily activities, show you how to modify them in order to better protect your spine and avoid these movements so that you can start implementing this into your own life and into your own daily activities and have healthy spine habits. Before we begin, I wanna make sure everybody knows how to activate their core. Activating your core is super important in order to better protect your spine and it needs to be activated during all activities throughout the day. So if you don't know how to do this, please check out my video and article at osteoprofitness.com. Now the first activity I'm going to teach you how to modify is tying your shoes and putting on your shoes and socks. Instead of bending forward to tie your shoes and put your shoes and socks on, this is spinal flexion. So you don't want to bend forward, you actually want to bring your foot up towards you and tie your shoes and put your shoes and socks on this way. This is hip flexion and this is better for your spine. So one very common activity is vacuuming. When you're vacuuming, you wanna make sure to hold the vacuum as close to your body as you can and move your feet as you vacuum as opposed to leaning forward and reaching to vacuum. Again, always have your core activated. When doing yard work, you want to make sure to keep your gardening tools such as your leaf blower, your rake, your broom, lawnmower, whatever you're using close to your body. Like this, as opposed to reaching forward like this. If you're pushing a lawnmower, be sure to walk with the lawnmower as opposed to pushing it and bending your back forward this way. Again, if you do have to bend down to pick something up, if you're picking up leaves or one of your brooms or rakes, what you want to do is make sure to bend at the hips, keep the back nice and straight, and again, bend at your knees if you need to go lower, as opposed to bending at the spine and rounding your back. You want everything to stay nice and straight. Also avoid spinal rotation when you're performing yard work, such as raking or picking up leaves to put them into the trash can. Instead of rotating to rake, make sure you move your whole body and your feet. Instead of twisting to put the leaves into the trash, make sure, again, you're moving your whole body and your feet. Another common activity is picking up a box, a laundry basket, or something off of the floor or a lower surface. So to do that, you wanna make sure to bend at the hips or the hips and the knees, but not the spine. And here's the difference between the two. This is bending at the spine. Your spine is rounded and at greater risk for compression fracture. And here, you bend at the hips, your back is straight, bend at the knees, pick up the object off of the floor. Now, if the surface isn't all the way to the ground, but it is a little bit lower, again, make sure not to bend at the spine to pick it up, but keep your back flat, bend at the hips, and pick up the object off of the surface. Another activity such as loading and unloading the dishwasher, or possibly getting something in and out of a drawer, um, needs to be modified in order to avoid spinal twisting, rotation, and spinal flexion bending forward. So here, if you're washing dishes, washing your hands in the bathroom, and you need to go down to load the dishwasher or get something out of the drawer, instead of twisting to get to it, what you wanna do is move your whole body and feet. Now with unloading the dishwasher or get, getting something from a low drawer, Again, you don't wanna bend down this way where your back is rounded. You wanna make sure to bend at the hips, back straight, and the knees to get all the way down for what you need. As you can tell, the key is to avoid spinal flexion and replacing it with hip flexion or hip and knee flexion and replace spinal rotation with moving your whole body and your feet instead. Always keep your core tight to better protect your spine. Knowing what movements to avoid is the first step in modifying your daily activities so that you can decrease your fracture risk and have a safer spine.